So let me explain you the architecture diagram before we proceed, right? So let's start from the first box here. So first box is having a AWS Amplify and API Gateway. So what is AWS Amplify? It will uh, host your React application. So you do not need to worry about where I will be hosting my React application, what will be the server, uh, if I do my changes, whether it will be deployed, how it will be deployed, and while deploying, whether it will be up or, up or down, all of these concerns are taken uh, care by uh, AWS Amplify. So you just need to write your code into VS Code, push the code into GitHub, and then from the GitHub, you can, you can push the entire code into the AWS Amplify, which will take your changes, build it, compile it, and deploy it, and also host it. And it will give you the URL as well. So it's a cool thing, right? So next thing is AWS API Gateway. AWS API Gateway is a endpoint to all of your backend. So it will give you a, a URL, HTTP REST URL that you can call from your React application, correct? So next, let's go to the second box, which is the yellow box over here. Here I have a Lambda function and S3 bucket. What is a Lambda? So AWS Lambda will give you a execution context where you can write your JavaScript or Python code which will execute upon the invo invocation of the Lambda function. So once the AWS API gateway gets the HTTP call, it will invoke your AWS Lambda and then in the AWS Lambda function you can write a code to call a SageMaker to get the uh, image out of the text and also you can save into the S3 bucket. One, three, one thing to notice over here is I have an execution role over here. You can see the cap. What does it mean is that AWS Lambda function can call the SageMaker for that you need a role and you need a permission attached to that role. And also AWS Lambda function is supposed to save the image into the S3 bucket. Therefore, it needs another permission to save the image into S3 bucket. I will show all of this in my coding session, but just to remember that AWS Lambda needs a role and that should have a permission to save into S3 bucket and to invoke the SageMaker. Let's go back to the third box. So in the third box, you can notice here, I have a Amazon SageMaker and I also have a um, Amazon SageMaker endpoint where my model is deployed. Amazon SageMaker where my model is hosted is also can be accessed via the notebook, Jupyter notebook, where you can run inline queries live and see the image created by writing the prompt right so <clears throat> once the endpoint gets the request to convert the text into the image it will it will run the model and it is pre-trained model therefore it has many data that um, that is there already trained so if you run let's say a query called as cute little boy so it will convert that into the image and get back to you so so this is how the three boxes are defined and now let me go ahead and give you the entire flow.